seven years ago, on a battlefield. I lost what I believed in. Each time I went into battle, another piece of my soul died. I'm the mere shell of a man now. Nothing more than a killing machine. in some elaborate game that will determine the fate of the world, is that it? Then which player is going to be fortunate enough to checkmate fate, I wonder? These cutscenes are magical. They are... this is... This is the most intense nostalgia for me up there with like, uh... It, it, I put this in the territory of, like, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. <laughs> Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Yes! Alright, the audio video is in sync. Okay, so, I think I can safely proceed. Good to know. Just gonna pop out a window for the chat so I can see what you guys are saying to me. And then we'll be ready to start. Then I'm gonna consume unhealthy amounts of caffeine. It's great. It's great. All right, let's play a game I haven't played since I was nine years old. This will be a mystical adventure. All right. Hey guys, it's Keith. How you guys doing? I started, I immediately went into dumb, let's talk like this is a let's play mode. Let's see, so you set bombs with, I need to know the basic buttons of the button game. Okay. Uh, that sounds, that's the kind of stuff's not gonna, holy crap. This, there's, a, there's a screen positioning thing that's interesting for a, uh, Turn captions on, okay. Ready to start. Let's just get this... Let's do the tutorial, let's just... Let's do that. I don't... <laughs> I haven't played this game since I was nine years old. <laughs> Back then, the battlefield was all I knew of the world. And the voice... The voice that issued orders to me... Was the only thing I could believe in. Utah. Utah, come in. This is Utah! I'm ready for my instructions. Very well. This will be your first taste of real battle. Fulfill this mission and prove to me that your training has paid off. I'll give it everything I got. Oh no, joystick doesn't work. That's gonna make me sad. I wonder if I can go into- I'm, I'm, This is emulated through PS3, so maybe I can turn it on? Analog mode, there we go. Also, highlighting quick game, down, 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 uh, 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 that's for, so I can sync it for YouTube. Yes, joystick works, okay. Alright, this is, by the way, if you saw a weird flicker during that last cutscene, cut that there was just real. <laughs> for some reason the game flickers like that. Then, plant a bomb on the marked area. Oh man, this is like some, this is like some sword right. and sorcery Split stuff. The blast radius. Good work. This is like all of those intentionally lo-fi looking 2D games, except it's in 3D, but it, but the guy's made of pixels that are like five pixels wide, so it just looks like that. No, I, I need, I need, I, I, I thrive on a, you'll use a stack to uh, that's, the, you're F F stack. FSN fanatic, that's fate slash stay at night, right? Uh, I actually, blast. I thrive on a terrible it, Japanese de uh, dubbing. Some of my favorite dubbing ever is like Dynasty Warriors 4. Or three? The one, whatever one was the worst one. Really, they're probably the wor worst the lower you get. Can I blow up this car? Yeah. It's Japanese, it's, it's crazy Japanese bomber man. Careful, Utah. There's an enemy unit approaching from up ahead. Engage them with the add-on equipment we airdropped. Destroy the container and retrieve the lock-on unit. This game is, is packed with, uh, Dialogue that sounds like stuff from a Symphony of the Night, where they're like, Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Oh, wow. 
that game audio, the game audio completely drowns out the dialogue that's being said right now, so you can't hear any of it. <laughs> oh wow, this tutorial might be a little too tutorially for me. It actually won't let you proceed with the next action until you're completely you is done explaining everything liquid. about it in slow motion. Using this in conjunction with your bombs will result in more powerful and deadly explosions. Hello, Defender Shadow. Look at the window located to the side of your life gauge. I am doing fine. It is hot in this room, though, because I have so many devices running to make this stream work right now. All right, so now I, now I have napalm abilities. That's enough. When you've obtained various types of liquid, you can switch among them with the item select button. Just don't forget that oh. these are exhausted. Apparently, item select is L1 and R1. All right, this tutorial is going on for a little too long now. Uh, let's see here. Eliminate this final obstacle on your own. Really? Do I use bombs? I'm shocked. Oh, nope. Okay, na so napalm. I did it. It's a series of explosions. Oh, 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 shit, it's not done yet. Just gonna wander over here for a second. <laughs> so those giant, ridiculous hand spikes are actually where I think, I think they're where all my bombs are being stored. If you quickly push to like the dispenser jump units, twice, it will like Spider-Man's web, web, web spinners, except they're massive. And make your way their okay, 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 hello Ready friends. Stay. So it's like bomb, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like Bomberman, but with like boss fights and like a lock-on mechanic and... The oh god, okay, hey, hey. By the way, I have no camera control. I keep, I keep pressing left stick to try to rotate the camera. Does not work. Can I do a lock on napalm? Nope. Okay, my mistake. You cannot lock on with napalm. That is a that's something you place directly on the floor. Okay. I remember this game being amazingly hard. That might just because it has PlayStation One controls, though. Enjoy that fire bomb. That did not help me very much. It'll become a little more graceful when I have more than two bombs I can place at once, for sure. Okay. This game seems to be uh, rendering in a glorious like 360 pixels. I think. Okay, by the way, if you guys can't make the whole stream, this will- this should be on YouTube unless I mess up horribly and lose all video recording of this entire session. Which is possible. I might be an idiot. Okay. What have they done into Bomberman? I'm old enough to have played it when I was 8-bit version as a kid. Uh, Bomberman ruined Bomberman. You should see Bomberman Zero. That's a legitimate Bomberman game that they ruined. This is just a game that is kind of like Bomberman. <laughs> like, it's not- at least it doesn't pretend to be a legitimate Bomberman sequel or anything, it's just What's got weird place? similarities. Because games just borrow from each other. But Bomberman Zero was a legitimately terrible implementation Roger. of Bomberman that was an actual licensed Bomberman game. Uh, although they do make good Bomberman games now. Bomberman Live and Bomberman whatever the PlayStation Network version's called. They make, uh, four-player versus Bomberman games that you can play online. <laughs> Sir. But, but I thought there were soldiers in here. These people are civilians. Calm down, Utah. Burn everything to the ground. But, but. That's an order. So what you're seeing here is that uh, Spec Ops The Line actually ripped off Silent Bomber from 1999 <laughs> from the famous White Phosphor scene. What? But those were civilians! It was actually an idea that happened like, you know, I don't know, 14 years ago, no big deal. <laughs> yes, this is a PlayStation 1 game called Silent Bomber. One of those weird games that I... D oh god, pre-rendered. Okay, this is gonna be magical. <laughs> Magical PlayStation 1 pre-rendered cutscenes. This this was the shockingly beautiful part of the game. Every day I awaken from the same nightmare. Seven years have passed, yet I'm still torturing myself. Utah? Utah! Are you there? You did set the autopilot, right? Yeah. Then get down here to the lander. I try to forget the nightmare by continuing to fight, as I'm doing today. We'll be in Dante's security zone soon. 
Friend or foe is FOF. Our ship will transmit this code to get past their sensors. Then six assault teams will infiltrate. Providing we can get that close, of course. Our codes are flawless. If we can really trust these codes, shouldn't they have sent in a crack military unit or something? Don't you think, Utah? My only duty is to destroy my designated target. I'm concerned with nothing else. Boy, you just can't wait to start blowing things up, huh? Get this straight. We're here to save Hornet. Safeguarding our planet is the objective. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're merely pawns in some elaborate game that will determine the fate of the world, is that it? Then which player is going to be fortunate enough to checkmate fate, I wonder? This really is Japanese video game writing at its best in the 90s, right? A character who says, we're really pawns in this game. What if we, who's gonna checkmate fate? And he's ho literally holding a chess piece. Like, get it? I'm the chess themed character. I won't come up in a chess themed boss fight later, will I? <laughs> Uh, to answer Defender Shadow, you said, uh, before I mentioned that my, uh, I have a channel out that says Sebastian SB, but I just, it just doesn't come up anywhere else really. Sebastian SB is actually the URL for my profile on YouTube and here on Twitch, and it basically, it's just my username I use everywhere. It's dumb though, so I don't say it ever. I just, I just don't ever say Sebastian SB or call myself Sebastian because it's not my real name. It's just a dumb internet handle. My YouTube account ex was made in 2006. So, that's, an, that's a username I made up when I was 16 years old, and I've stuck with it. <laughs> oh no. You mean the game's not always pre-rendered? At least the subtitles are back. Am I moving right now? I can't tell if I'm actually falling, or if I'm just floating in space, but the camera's shaking. <laughs> But anyway, I had the Spec Ops line moment of, You killed civilians! What's wrong with you, Utah? Who has a, J, a silent J in front of your name to hide the fact that you're named after a state? <laughs> uh, but then we just jump forward and now I'm attacking some sort of space station because evil people in it. I think it's like an evil organization called Fate, if I remember correctly. Because subtle writing. Did they see through our dummy codes? Wow, the game's way louder than the voice acting. Like the background noise is, is drowning out the, uh, is drowning out all of the voice acting right now. Acknowledged. Okay, so the raid operation has failed every time an AA cannon fires, anti-aircraft cannon fires. Uh, another one of our landers is blown to pieces. If this keeps up, the assault team will be wiped out. Destroy all the anti-aircraft batteries. So what happened is someone gave us dummy codes on our strike, so so everyone's getting shot down, which, you know, including me. Destroy the box and get the e chip. What's, the, what's an e chip exactly? E chip plus one. I don't know what I don't necessarily know what that means. Oh well. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get used to having zero camera controls because the. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, right. My bombs are tiny. I'm, I, I know. I know that. I know for a fact they get bigger. Oh. Oh right, gauntlet. Ow, dick. There we go. We have to do the gauntlet thing where we destroy enemy spawners in order to stop them from coming in. Alright, here we go. But, uh, as for, as for the, uh, because you might want to know the origin of it or something. Oops. It has to be open, probably has to be open for me to blow it up. Uh, the origin of my, of the name Sebastian and why I use that is, uh, I took German for three years and then TA'd for German for one year after that. And for my four, oh! Go walk directly into that. PlayStation 1, Death Perception. Do I have to lock onto it? Yes, I do. Uh, I took German for four years, basically, as a result. So, uh, one of the gimmicks in that class is our teacher said we had to use German names in the class, which was amusing because you'd had like a bunch of Asian kids named Jurgen and stuff like that. I chose Sebastian because a number of reasons. It's just a name that I never sh I never saw in real life, but it was always in like cartoons I saw. It's probably my reasoning. Chino, quit complaining. The sixth platoon is gone. How can this be happening? Tim, stop your whining. Oh, we won't last that long at this rate. Dad! Oh shit! Stood too close to that. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a turret. I thought that was a box. 
everything's everything everything looks like a box, so it's hard to tell what 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 I what's an item thing and what's a uh, murder thing. Oh, did it come back up or did I not blow it up? Oh, there's now it's blown up. They got that magical second explosion. Just need to blow up these batteries. Everyone else is just a, kind of a distraction right now. Uh, but uh, I, I chose Sebastian as my name in uh, German class, and uh, oh, motherfucker! <laughs> Careful. I am, I'm not adapting well to not having any camera controls yet. I'll probably get better. Uh, I liked it. Obviously, there's a crab and the Little Mermaid. There's the main character of the the book. Was it the library? The book? The book? What? I don't know. There's a cartoon where a guy goes, in, a little kid goes into a library, and it's like live action, but then he gets sucked into a book because colors attack him in the library because fucking acid trip for children apparently. And then he's a cartoon, and there's like Whoopi Goldberg is a, is a book with wings, I think. <laughs> and uh, they're all there to help him on his magical adventure to find himself because coming of age or something. Open up. Open up. There we go. Oh, blown up. And, and uh, I think the uh, the main character of the uh, never-ending story is named Bastion, which was not a choice on the list I could pick from, but Bastion, Sebastian, close enough. So I just arbitrarily picked that shit, and now I'm stuck with it forever! Unless I want to completely rebrand and change URLs and re sign up with every website again. Uh, each hit plus one. I genuinely don't know what that does. I have some kind of special bomb. I should just test it. It's probably an EMP bomb or something, right? Oh, wow. Okay, it's effective for blowing up the batteries. Probably an EMP. Need to blow up some of these these enemy dispensers. There we go. Blow him up when he's coming out of it. So, yeah, this game has elements of Gauntlet and, uh... Oh, God. Okay. This game currently has elements of Gauntlet and, uh... And, uh, Bomberman going on. I don't know if my bombs can hurt me. I'm not really testing it very much. But I'm, I'm, I might be wasting time trying to run away so much, though, from explosions that I'm causing myself. This is such a weird game. Okay, yes, my I think my explosion just hurt me. Uh, so I think it does. Dispenser's all gone? Yes. Dell, backup and recovery. Get off my screen. Sorry, I have a laptop open so I can see chat. And uh, it's a laptop I never use, and it's got pop-ups like, You should do this Dell shit, I guess, and whatever. It's just, it's not something that no one should have to deal with. Okay. Wow, people are still watching. No one's given up on me yet. That's your, it's your own fault <laughs> at this point. <laughs> okay, we just so these are the actual AA guns themselves. Okay, a lot of bullets to dodge. Oh wow. Okay, the EMP, the thing has things that I'm so far calling EMP bombs because I don't know if it's confirmed yet or not. Uh, seem to have like a chain lightning effect in between machines and wipe them all out at once. Uh, who developed this game? Um, someone else Google that. <laughs> I could reach over and grab the box if I wanted to, but uh, instead, I'm thinking I'm going to keep playing and not completely stop the recording to check the box, which I may have put... Okay, what does purple do? It's, oh, that's not how you do purple. That's how you shoot normal bombs. Purple does? What did it do? Ooh, it's an AoE over time. Awesome. That'll fuck up these dispensers really bad, huh? There we go. That's neato. Oh, wait, and we have a score multiplier going on for blowing up stuff in a combo. Well, this will really fuck those guys up. That's right, we'll just keep damaging them over time. Uh... Where did I put the box, actually? I'm just gonna run circles and grab it. Silent Bomber, is, it's got Bandai on the cover. Yep, that's the only branding. Okay. That was the sound of me throwing a... a 15-year-old PlayStation 1 case across the room a little bit. That's probably not responsible. Uh... So 1999 Bandai game. Don't know if that means that it was developed or just published, because back in the old days, out I think it was much more common for a game to not list its developer on the box. At least not in like a logo. It might show it in the fine print that no one read because children. Uh oh. Nope. Anti-air gun's going down. That didn't blow them up? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Let's keep our distance for a second. Alright, we're down to our last two. So yeah, this is one of the, th what, thousands of games Bandai has, has uh, put out at this point? Bandai's, a, if I remember correctly, Bandai's a really long-lasting uh, developer, or publisher. Also video, I think it's also like an anime and 
I believe it's an anime and toy company also. Getting more E-chips. I, I bet E-chips are like the experience in this game. You probably use them to buy skills between levels or something. Oh, wait, I have three bombs now. Hey. Didn't notice when that change happened. There's a lot of things to try to pay, pay attention to here. It, uh, according to Rathorus, this game was developed by CyberConnect2. Oh, they made the dot .hack games. I don't know anything about dot .hack besides the anime. I actually wanted to play the games at one point, because they got good reviews in whatever an whatever magazine I read at the time. But Japanese RPGs! I have such a bad history with them. Okay. So we have our first mini boss. Oh god! Okay! No, it's great! So I was hoping it would happen, it's just immediately block- okay, okay, so I, I assume that I can target its legs, and like, damage it over time to like, make it vulnerable? I should probably focus on one leg for a while. Oh yeah, just, let's just do cyber- Electro-bombs! Oh, that one of those was napalm, whoops. I guess I'm wasting that. At least, this is actually a good camera. Oh! Oh, hello! Okay, he has a dash attack. Oh, look, he's, he doesn't move- Okay, get out of the way! Ah, I'm making my dumb generic sound. Well, the good news is he's- oh, shit. Never mind, I was gonna say, he stands around a lot, so I could just put a damage over time thing under him, but... Turns- oh, wow, he goes really far with that, okay. Gonna put a firebomb on you and run away. I think special bombs are the way to go right now. It's kind of hard to lock onto him when he keeps attacking like that. Oh god, made it out. I would say the toughest part about playing this game. Okay, let's not get in there. The toughest part about playing this game is that your uh, your way of a targeting an enemy and moving is the same stick because they didn't. For some reason, they had never considered the idea of multiple joysticks at that point. <laughs> So you have to, like, face someone and target them manually. This isn't too bad, I just need to be careful to stay out of his track. It looks like he doesn't actually move very far. Uh, he just kind of goes back and forth a lot. Let's see, one of them, one of them sparking. Oh, oh, never mind. I was, I was gonna say, the sparking one's probably vulnerable to more damage. Turns out that one just can't be damaged anymore. Okay, that now that one's blowed up, so I probably can't target that one. I'm very close to dying. This is an embarrassing showing for the first level. <laughs> Oh god! Oh! Oh! Oh cool! Uh, no! He just goes in other directions now! Surprise! Is that like a low health surprise? Oh shit. I probably can't even hurt him there because it's not the one remaining leg. So you have to damage every leg by exactly 25% of his health. Uh, well, I, I almost went down. Shit. Okay. Target has been destroyed. I haven't been able to raise Benoit. Are you picking him up? No. I see. At any rate, let's look for a way in. Uh, I have played uh, Serene Eclipse. I have played every single Uncharted games campaign one time. Uh, never touched the multiplayer of any of them. Never went for completionism or anything like that. Looking forward to playing the fourth game. I also played uh, The Last of Us once. And The Last of Us I thought was better than all three of those games, but... That's because the story felt better in tone, I guess? I don't like games as- Wow, I did- This game does- This game's not happy with me and my, cl my clear rank. Well, I'm not happy with its color choices, because that was hard to read. So that's your problem, huh? Let's see. Let's go ahead and save on my fake memory card that it doesn't really exist, because this is PlayStation 3. We'll put it in slot there. Okay. I don't think there's a, a level repeat mode, so I think if you do a bad enough job at collecting uh, upgrades and stuff like that. I think you can actually... I think you can actually be, like, too low level and just make stuff harder later. Let's see. Edit customization. So... How many e-chips do I have? Insufficient e-chips remaining. Does it say I have zero e-chips? I can't click on anything. But wasn't I picking up e-chips all the time? And now it says I have zero. Maybe the e-chips were automatically spent on upgrading my bombs, and that's why I have three bombs now. That might be what's going on. Because I went from two to three suddenly. Options, sound... Ba background sound effects. Maybe turn sound effects a little louder. They seem to be getting drowned out by the music. Alright, let's just start the next mission. I'm sure I'll do great! I had such a good showing last time. I remember this game being so hard, and it's probably because these controls are a little weird. Uh, our team! The, uh... Our team, the only one left of the assault unit. That's not... 
that's some interesting translation. Our team, the only one left of the Zatola unit. No comma, no like, our team is the only one left, or <laughs> whatever. But can we really say we were lucky? I had a feeling that more fighting would be waiting for us behind those heavily sealed doors. Eliminate the enemy and find the ingress route. So, go forward and shoot things, I guess. Let's see, oh, upgrade. This looks like the exact same level. <laughs> okay, but I have three bombs now, so fuck you. You're screwed now. Ow. The downside of uh, having a lock-on system where you have to run at somebody is that they shoot you. <laughs> and you can't... It's a little hard to evade. Ow! Come on. Okay. Careful. It's weird. Someone's, someone said this game looks fun on a goat simulator level. I don't know what to make of that. The ghost simulator, ghost simulator is like not even a video game. It's one of those weird things where it's like, here's a physics engine and a level. The end! That's the whole game. And I get, I know that it can be amusing, because I've heard of Gary- I know, I've played Gary's Mod before, I know, like, why that can be amusing, but it, Also not a game. Like, Gary's Mod isn't a video game until you actually start playing one of the crazy things like Prop Hunt in it, where it's like, now this has a- there's like a game happening, and not just assets in, a, in an engine. What? what Alright, I, I, I forgot, I need to actually destroy their source, so they're just gonna keep coming! Okay. Okay. Things are getting not so happy over here. Let's find- Where are you guys coming from? I need to fix this. Oh. Oh, that might be a problem. <laughs> I'll finish this guy off! Oh, that voice acting. Oh, it's the laser sword dude! I remember the guys with the laser swords being my favorite characters to play in multiplayer. This game has a uh, arena mode where you can pick any character model from the game, basically, and use them to fight each other. Which is novel in its own right. But also, I blew him the fuck up, so fuck that guy. Oh! Oh right, I already, I already accidentally fired bombs at nothing, so I had to detonate them. Oh god! I'm sorry for offending you, sir. What, 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 ah, you can't shoot me through here. Ooh, that'll probably be useful, right? Did that help? Oh, cool, he got stunned. He has an elemental weakness against lightning. It's like a Mega Man boss. <laughs> you just signed your death warrant! You're dead! Count on it! Oh my god, how do I still remember this voice acting? That's mind-blowing to me. I love that old games can stick with you like that. Delay, monster. You don't belong in this world. It is not by my hand that I am once again given flesh. I was brought here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Yeah, you should get away from that laser. Oh, did he, did he just stand in front of it? Did he die? Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Well, we gotta deal with this. Can't, can't have any weapons. Okay, laser, laser. It's not, it doesn't seem to be targeting me directly, it's just kind of moving back and forth, though. I was hoping that dispenser would come out. Come on, dispenser, come out. It's not gonna come out until I kill everybody, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, what, no, I was hoping they would get killed by the laser. Not so much. Did I get chain reaction going on? Oh, they got jammed, awesome. Okay, blow that, blow that fucker up. I just, the primary goal here is dispensers getting killed. So otherwise, they're just gonna be a problem. Oh, I blew myself up. So that's my bad. Okay. There we go. Okay. What is that? Is that a turret on the wall? I'll take care of that problem. I don't know what I thought those bombs were gonna do. I, I just threw bombs at nothing. So, what do you guys think about PlayStation 1 versus uh, Nintendo 64? Is what I'm. It's the old, the age old debate. I always. Some people. A lot of people like the games, of course, on the PS1. But I actually think the 64 was a better console, although I was biased because I just liked a lot of the Rareware games, but of course, at the same time... Oh, shit! Well, that turret its actually targeting me, so it must die. The giant laser is barely tar- Oh! The new guns just come in infinitely. Okay. Let's just deal with the main... Oh, okay. Problem then. Can I, can I target him? Oh, I must have to place them. I probably can't target him directly. Ow! Okay, it's not... I place a firebomb. That'll probably help, right? There we go. Did that. Oh yeah. That. Oh, I walked directly into the laser. I don't know what I was planning on. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> uh, my thing about Xbox. I mean, <laughs> Xbox. 64 versus PS1 is that I don't like the way that the. I always had an issue with the way that the way PS1 renders textures. Uh, 
Everything looks like the texture is like a weird piece of paper plastic on top of a polygon, but it's like vibrating in place constantly, and you can see all the seams and all of the polygons. Ow. This became especially clear when I was playing Shadow Tower uh, uh, earlier on on the channel, because uh, you're walking around in, d in dungeons and hallways in first person, and every few feet you just see like a weird missing chunk. Did I not make it? This is difficult. So everything hurts you. <laughs> I assume that these things just keep coming in every time I blow them in, blow them up, right? There we go. Yep, they just keep coming. Okay, assholes. Oh, he was shielded. It probably didn't even work. Oh, there we go. Right, he gets frozen by that. So it just makes him vulnerable for a moment. Oh man, how do I? I don't think I can target him at all, can I? Oh, I can't. Oh, there, I could target him that time. I can probably just shoot them in that direction without targeting him. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, let's just not get hit by lasers. Get out of the way! We're so... Okay, he's not too bad. I, I got this. Just gonna not get hit by all the death on the screen. We got it. Okay. So the, the main difference I always saw is that the, X, the PlayStation 1 had a clearer screen. Like, it was really sharp, but everything Lieutenant, looked jittery and in. gross, kind of. Like, this character on the screen right now is like... Shut down. Problematic as fuck. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the uh, 64... Uh, looked way less glitchy, and it looked clean, but it also looked blurry. So, like, the visuals looked more professional on the, uh, 64, but they were also blurrier. And it might have even just been because they were blurrier. Like, look at this guy's head glitching in and out of his own neck. Like, it's just flipping out. And that's how a lot of PS1 polygons looked, unfortunately. It looks like it's actually not working properly. <laughs> that's my Utah. Benoit, I was watching you fight, observing the man in action. You truly do belong on a battlefield. What is that supposed to mean? You'll find out eventually. We'll meet again. And I, and I own both, so I don't have to pick a side or anything. As a kid, I played games like Fighting Force and Silent Bomber on the PS1. Ooh, Fighting Force. I should try that sometime. I think I can download Fighting Force on PSN. I don't have a physical copy. I've got a gradually growing collection of weird PS1 games because I just keep going to various, uh... I have one e-chip. Can't spend it there. Oh, it says three, three, four. Does that mean I need three? That must be how many I need to increase each of those things. It would be nice to increase, uh, shield. I assume that means percentage reduced damage? Then you can increase your range and, and, and size of your bombs. I mean, ra range a number of bombs. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep saving over my own saves, because if I if I hit a point where I need to ask, if I seriously need to consider backtracking to a previous save during the stream, I would probably just switch to another game for the re for the next section of the stream anyway. I'm th I'm planning on playing multiple games, probably You're maybe. I don't know. I'm not a man with a plan. The ship? All right. Go to alert level yellow. Eliminate the intruders immediately. <laughs> Just what do those fools think a handful of sorry two-legged worms can do against the Dante? The spice must flow. <laughs> this chubby-ass man. 